I think it was about uh, 9.30 p.m. when I got here last night and when I was driving on these uh, dark roads with all these trees around, I was wondering, wow, look at this journey. I'm traveling about three and a half, four hours to meet a person who I probably would have never met had it not been for um, just one, one thing, which is this car right here. Um, this belongs to uh, my friend Dave, Dave Richards. This is a 95 850 CSI. And I'm not a car salesman, and nor will I ever be. I'm a true passionate lover of uh, BMW E31 8 series, especially the CSI. And uh, when I would say that I would have never probably met Dave, and it's only because of this car, it's because we belong to a community of BMW 8 Series E31 owners. And uh, it's a very tightly knit small group, even though there are 30,000 cars in the world, pretty much most of the active uh, members, we all know each other. And we're friends, we hang out, we know each other's families, we go, to dinners, lunches, we uh, talk about our cars. We have a very strong, bonded community. When I was a young man, a little boy, um, my father retired from, he was a real estate broker back east, and he retired to Southern California. And um, he couldn't stay retired. And in the 60s, the early 60s, car washes, these big car washes were the big thing. So my dad decided in a little town in Yucaipa, Southern California, um, decided to open up a car wash. So I grew up from a young man until my early teens, uh, helping him working out our car wash. All the cars would come through. Um, I remember the 61 Chevy, you know, 409 and 62 Impalas and the Dodges and all these cars would come through, these really bitching cars. And I just said, you know, when I get older, I want one of these, I want this, I want that. The Corvettes, you know, and of course at the time I was 10, 11, 12 years old. So and that's where I got started. It was embedded in me. Dave called me and asked me if I could um, help him uh, try to, I don't want to say sell, uh, try to um, change ownership and caretaker of this car. Uh, after having seen the CSI film that I made last year uh, for Pet Delicious and uh, even that was a beautiful journey which I took together with a group of other people, Taylor Patterson, um, the director of the film and uh, myself producing it and the team at Pet Delicious, we made probably the most popular 850 CSI film. So the reason I'm here talking about this car is because um, I've owned six, six of these over the years and um, I know them inside out, I love them, and it's probably the only car that I will keep continue owning, probably never sell, or if I sell one, I'll always have another one. I was a uh, California Highway Patrol officer, and um, in the mid-90s, I was working speed um, just north of Paso Robles, and I caught this, um, I believe it was a 95, um, Cosmos Black, CSI, southbound, I pulled him over. It was a couple um, professional basketball players from Los Angeles who were in the car, and when I remember when I pulled up behind him, I was in a Mustang, pulled up behind him and the wide stance. I just fell in love with that car. It was so cool. And walked up, um, made my right side approach and started talking to ball players. And um, I'm sure right away I just lit up. I didn't care about their speed anymore. I wanted to know about this car. And I remember um, I asked him how much it cost him and he told me uh, approximately $120,000. I was in a really bad um, police car accident and 
I was getting better from that, and then I had another accident. So I was disabled pretty bad. And um, in the re rehabilitation process, I started looking at cars, you know, and um, I found this beautiful Daytona Violet 1995 BMW CSI for sale on eBay. It was back in, I believe it was Missouri, and uh, this is it. Of course, back then, um, I couldn't afford that kind of money. And um, so I remember talking with Mr. Wilhoyt about his car and so forth. A really nice gentleman to talk with, even though he knew I couldn't buy it. And um, the car sold, it disappeared. One year, I think it was my second Beamer Fest in Southern California, I was talking with Fern and he was asking me how I got hooked on the cars. And I, I brought up this car and he goes, David, I know where that car's at. It's here in Southern California. And of course I just go, what, what, really? You know, I was all excited. And um, through the course of several months, I was able to make contact with the owner and um, went down and looked at it. We negotiated a price and I had it. I had my car. The car wasn't in very good shape and been neglected for a while. And it was therapy for me to come in here and clean it up, polish it up, clean out the interior, um, do some things to it to get it back into pristine condition without doing any alterations to it. I wanted to keep it original. Well, it's a BMW V12 5.6 liter. Um, approximately 370 horsepower with a six-speed manual. Um, top speed, I've never had it over 130. <laughs> it's um, Daytona Violet in color with um, a very unique individual uh, Daytona Violet and Lotus White interior. It was a um, personal order out of Palm Springs in early uh, mid-95 um, when the gentleman took delivery of it and um, I remember going to one of the Beamer activities up in Northern California and one of the gentlemen involved in the eight coupe registry told me David do you know how unique this car is and I says well it's one of 225 he says no this is the only car in this color scheme in the world. It's the one and only. There is not another one like this. And I just was jazzed. I thought that was so bitch in the air. Just very unique car. As a result of my accident, I'm, I'm um, experiencing some complications and I can't get to my cars like I want to. And, um, this is a very special car, and I want to make sure that somebody very special picks it up and enjoys it as much as the previous owners have, and myself. 